about how hard Soper was continuing to push, and sometimes this rears up and bites you. You're going to take a look when Soper comes down out of the hairpin, the area where he's been pushing hard all day. Look how wide he gets. The car snaps on him. He overcorrects for a moment, and suddenly disaster. He has got zero traction, spinning around. Lock up the brakes, Steve. Look at this, all the way over, dead stop. He wants to make sure he stays on the pavement as long as possible with scrum off speed and narrowly avoids hitting Tebow by one of the Ferraris. Now he's got to get this thing fired up because he knows the Panos is coming down the hill. Here he is, he's got to get the car turned on, do a quick spin, but watch in the background, you're going to see this black shape coming down and whoosh, there we go. There's the lead right there. It has struck again, the BMW Lightning, unbelievable. Here's another look as he gets the car pointed backwards on the racetrack. So he's going to drop the clutch, spin it back around. Here comes Bernard following the Porsche 911 down the hill. Oh, wow. And you have to wonder about the condition of Soper's tires now. He's probably squared them off. As you see Bernard to the left of your screen, assuming the race lead and this taking place with about 11 minutes to go in the race. Just incredible. Well, I think we're going to see JJ Lato petition.